Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and in this video I'm digging into a question that comes up quite often and that is how do you level up faster on Zwift? What I'll take you through is a tried and proven method to get you sailing through those level unlocks and associated bonuses in no time at all or maybe just a little bit faster. So why level up on Zwift? Well, it's part of the gamification of things. Zwift currently has levels one through 60 in game with each level unlock having an associated bonus such as kit, helmets, glasses, and even giving you the ability to buy more items or higher end items in the drop shop. There are also certain area unlocks on Zwift that you can only get to at certain levels, but there are workarounds for those, so they're not that important. In free rides and group rides on Zwift, you'll earn 20 XP per kilometer or 30 per mile if you're using the Imperial measurements. All the way up to level 60 requires you to have 750,000 XP. That's a lot of riding. At 20 XP per kilometer, that comes in at 37,500 virtual kilometers to get to level 60. Now you don't have to ride the full 37,500 Ks to get to level 60 because thankfully Zwift offers some XP bonuses for say completing a full route badge, passing through certain archways on TT bikes, and even some special events have double XP to get you there faster. So back to the question of how do you level up faster on Zwift or how do you maximize your XP earnings while in game. This week over on Reddit, user HeartslandSG posted a well thought out method to earn 1000 XP per hour, riding at around 200 watts. This required you to ride the TT bike on the downtown Dolphin route. To put that into perspective, 1000 XP per hour is equivalent to riding at 50 kilometers per hour in game with the 20 XP per kilometer unlock with no bonuses. So that's some pretty good numbers and pretty good earning of XP, but it got me thinking, can we improve on that 1000 XP per hour and how much more can we improve on it? After a bit of research over on Zwift Insider, I came up with a quick back of the envelope calculation using a workout, in-game bonuses and a 12K descent to get me an estimated 4,400 XP over around 85 minutes or per hour comes in at just over 3,000 XP per hour. But there are two things we need to factor in for me to earn those kind of XP numbers. And that is firstly, I'm still on the two by XP or the fast track acceleration program through to level 60. When Zwift bring out a whole swag of new levels like level 50 through to level 60, those who have been banking XP points get reverted back to whatever level was the previous level, level 50, and we get put on a double XP point pathway through to wherever we were. So for me, that was up to level 60. I already had all the points to get me there. Many years ago, we were on an eight by acceleration program as well. However, all you need to know is I'm currently earning two by XP and a lot of others out there will be as well. And ideally, you need to win the wheels at the top of the Elta Zwift on the prize wheel. Now, once you've won the wheels once, they seem to come up quite often. I think I've got them the last three times in a row, but it's not essential. Winning the wheels will get you plus 1,000 XP or any other prize like the helmet or the gloves will get you plus 250 XP. On the accelerator pathway, that's an extra 2,000 XP or an extra 500 XP. Definitely worth slogging yourself to the top on the Alp. Okay, so the full method and we'll get to the results in a minute. Full method breakdown. The route to choose for this method is to use Road to Sky because you're aiming for that prize wheel. The free ride for the first 5Ks will get you plus 100 XP. You then load a workout of 70 minutes of interval blocks. In a workout, XP is rewarded on time, not distance or effort. So things change when you're in a workout. Standard intervals earn only 10 XP per minute but interval blocks earn 12 XP per minute. So they're the ones to use. I use the Elpta Zwift timing calculator to estimate my climb time for my weight at 200 watts. That gave me an Elpta Zwift finish time of around 73 minutes. So for the workout, I created 70 minutes of the interval blocks at 200 watts. Now the calculation on that at 12 XP per minute is plus 840 XP. Now that ended about a kilometer before the archway, so plus 20 XP on that. And then you hit the spin wheel, where the prize will be either plus 1000 XP or plus 250 XP. There's then an extra kilometer at the top, plus 20 XP, and there's 240 XP to get on the way down. 12 kilometers of coasting, you can just pretty much cool down and still rack up those XP. So there's a lot going on there, but the breakdown and the summary of this method, if you win the wheels, your total XP gain for 85 minutes is 2,220 XP or 1,552 per hour. If you're on the fast track XP acceleration program with two by XP, it's double everything there, which comes in at around 3,100 XP per hour. So a lot more than a thousand per hour, but you still do need to tick a few of those boxes being on the accelerator path for that number and also winning the wheels. These are still just estimates on the back of the uh, postcard here. Now, if you win the gloves or the helmet, 
at the top of the Alp, it's still worth your time. The XP gain there would be 1470 over 85 minutes, which comes in at just over 1000 XP per hour, so 1037. So best case scenario for this method, you're gonna be earning 3100 XP per hour, or worst case, without the two by acceleration and not winning the wheels, you're still getting over 1000 XP per hour, which is very similar to Heartland SG's method as well. Now the reason I'm using the ELP for this method is for that spin wheel at the top. However, there's some additional bonuses for using the ELP. You'll be one more step closer to the Masochist badge that requires you 25 ascents of the ELP. And if you don't already have the Marlstein lightweight wheels, you'll be one ascent closer to getting them. Oh, and that descent too. That's just free XP, isn't it? Okay, so there's the theory, there's the estimations. Let's get out onto the virtual road and put this all to the test and see how much XP I can rack up in one ride. Okay, first things first, loading up a free ride on the Road to Sky route. And once loaded, we'll jump over and check my XP, which is currently sitting at 548856. So that's my starting point before we get out the road and start racking up this XP at an accelerated level. Sneaky switch to the mountain bike to make the time go a little bit quicker on the dirt section. Okay, just finishing off the first five kilometers of lead in, plus 40 XP with the double fast track, and Eric Min gives me a ride on. Good timing there, Eric. Okay, as so I roll down here to a stop, let's have a look at the XP, which is now sitting at 549056, so plus 200 XP. So the calculations are spot on for now. It's time to get stuck into this 70 minute erg mode session, but I'll need to do that on the road bike too. Alrighty, keeping on the theme of fast track, let's fast track this video as I switch over to the Team Jayco TCR in Team Colors and load up my Llama Llama XP Farmer workout, which unfortunately hasn't synced. So I'll have to create this from scratch. So this video also becomes a how-to. Okay, new workout, Llama Llama XP Farmer. Let's drag and drop the intervals through here. Power zone, 200 watts for five minutes, and the power two, 200 watts for five minutes. We push those out to 70 minutes, and we're done. That really is as easy as that. Okay, workout is created, and off we go. 70 minutes, 200 watts erg to get near the top. Now, there was one thing that I learned from this, and because you need to get the star for that workout, as I get my erg mode re-enabled. What I should have done with those interval blocks is put a few seconds in between. Because as you see in the top left, it says one of seven. And it's gonna loop me through the one of seven, two of seven, three of seven, all the way up to seven of seven for 70 minutes. But there's only one star. And if I don't get that one star, I do not get my 840 XP. So the payouts at the end, not throughout the climb. So just testing that theory of not getting XP, I was just double checking my balance every now and then up the climb and no, it wasn't increasing because I did not get that star awarded. So although the XP is being calculated at 12 XP per minute for these interval blocks, or in my case, 24 per minute, I'm not getting that until I get that star. So it's a long way to the top to make sure I get the star, not a half star or anything. So again, seeing there, the XP hasn't moved. All right, let's fast forward all the way to the top and see what happens there. Alrighty, 20 seconds, and we are done for this single block of intervals, which will also break us out of the workout and hopefully earn me that one star and the 840 XP. Now, a few things happen here in quick succession. So the 840 XP doesn't actually pop up on screen as it should for me because the workout finishes right here. But I can tell I do have the star. So one for one of the stars, 
because I kind of made a bit of a mistake there, not splitting it out into multiple stars for multiple intervals, which would have paid me along the way. Okay, everything else looks good. I can't see my rider score or XP from here, so let's drop back out of here. That was a fair ride, that one, for 70 minutes. If you're going to do this one, I definitely recommend moving around in the saddle quite a bit. Already pulling up my rider score after those XP were awarded, 550738, which, according to my math, is 1,682 XP, more than what I started with. If you divide that by two, that's 841. So my on-paper calculations were right, and also the math over on Zwift Insider was right. 12 XP per minute for 70 minutes. Now I have a final kilometre to do here, but here's something interesting that's going to happen right now, going from 16.9 k's to 17 kilometres, and you'll see it on screen right, well, in a few seconds. I'll also earn the full XP for finishing that kilometre, 40 XP. So there might be a bit of a trick there to finish a workout just before ticking over that kilometre mark to uh, just squeeze a bit more XP out of the system. Hmm. All right, let's get to the top. Okay, almost done to the top, and a few things happen here in quick succession. The wheel comes up and spins. I randomly get an extra 20 XP, so I'm guessing this is an extra 10 under normal circumstances that's doubled, and I win the wheels. 2,000 XP, there it goes. So my running total for now, let's pull that up and have a quick look. And that running total is now 552838, which gives me a running total of being 3,982 XP ahead of where I started an hour 23 ago. Now, I still have some more to get on the way down, which I don't even pedal for once I'm on the descent. Let's get that ticked over now. Okay, done and dusted. Let's have a look at the running total as we've just finished up. Menu here. Final rider score, 553358. Putting me a total of 4,502 XP ahead of where I started. And the last 12 Ks didn't even need to pedal. All righty, definitely a successful XP farming mission up the Alp and back down again. Now, just a few notes on this one. As mentioned, with those workouts, don't jam your interval blocks all together, giving you just one star. That's just too risky. Separate them out by a few seconds or a few other intervals so you get paid out that XP along the way. If I didn't get that star at the top, this whole method would have fallen apart. Would have ended in tears. Uh, I don't think bike choice really matters for time-based XP farming like this, but I could be wrong on that. Um, look, a comparison, riding with Coco, who rides at about 41 kilometers per hour, will get you 820 XP per hour. If you're doing a workout with these interval blocks, you'll get around 720 XP per hour. But with this, you're relying on the bonus at the top. So the extra thousand, maybe 2000, or 250, or maybe 500, depending on which track you're on. Now there's definitely a lot more digging to be done here and a lot more research on this topic and I'm sure we could squeeze some more XP per hour out using some other route or some other method. If you've got any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching this one. As always, if you've enjoyed this content or found it informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be alerted of new videos just like this one and we shall see you soon.